in today's video we are going to be looking at some basic problems under simple harmonic motion in this case we are going to be driving the period of simple harmonic motion using displacement and velocity ratios in simple harmonic motion the relationship between displacement and velocity can simply be expressed using this equation u this is equals to plus or minus omega in the square root of a square minus x to the power of 2. In this case, the u is the velocity, omega is an angular frequency, and a is the amplitude of the motion, x is the displacement from the equilibrium. In this case, we are given x1, u1, x2, u2 and yeah x2 u2 these are the specific value for displacement now let's consider the ratio considering the ratio in this case we're going to be left with u1 this is simply going to be square root of a square minus x1 to the power of 2 and in this case this is going to be u2 all over the square root of a square minus x 2 to the power of 2. Now that we have found this, next thing we need to do is to solve for omega square. In this case, omega square is the angular frequency squared. Let's say the angular frequency in squared, this square is going to affect everything here. In this case, we are going to have u1 to the power of 2 divided by a to the power of 2 minus x1 to the power of 2. And the same thing is going to happen with the right hand side. This is simply going to be u2 to the power of 2 divided by u to the power of 2 minus x2 to the power of 2. Next thing we need to do from here is to rearrange the equation in order for us to find a to the power of 2 minus x 1 to the power of 2 in terms of a square minus x 2 to the power of 2. And this is simply going to be a to the power of 2 minus x 1 to the power of 2 and this gives us u 1 to the power of 2 divided by omega square now that we have reached this level next thing we need to do is to substitute the equation into the general formula for the period in this case we know the period which is t is simply 2 pi divided by omega Therefore, the period t is going to be 2 pi into, then we insert the value of our omega here. Omega in this case is going to be a square minus x 1 to the power of 2 divided by u 1 to the power of 2. So what are we supposed to do next? Next thing we need to do is to rearrange the equation to match the given expression. In this case, we said we have the time period, which is 2 pi omega. This is going to be the square root of a to the power of 2 minus x1 to the power of 2. We are going to multiply it by the square root of u1 to the power of 2 divided by u to the power of 2. Still, we are going to multiply this by the square root of u 2 to the power of 2 divided by a 2 minus x 2 to the power of 2. What are we supposed to do after here? Next thing we need to do is to combine the square root. If we combine the square root, this is simply going to be t 
which is time period is going to be 2 pi into square root of a square minus x 1 to the power of 2 multiplied by u 1 to the power of 2 divided by a square minus x 2 to the power of 2. Finally, what we need to do from here is to substitute a to the power of 2 minus x 1 to the power of 2 from the earlier. In this case, our time period is simply going to be 2 pi, which is going to be the square root of u 1 to the power of 2 divided by u 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by a to the power of 2 minus x 2 to the power of 2 divided by a to the power of 2 minus x 1 to the power of 2. You can choose to leave it this way, but if you like, you can set the common terms are going to cancel each other, and in this case, you will bless to it. Let's say time period is simply going to be 2 pi, which is the square root of x 2 to the power of 2 minus x 1 to the power of 2 divided by u 1 to the power of 2 minus u 2 to the power of 2. So this is it for this problem. But if you like, you can just put it differently. Let's see how we can solve this problem differently. In order to make it easy, let's say we have u1, which is equal to omega into square root of a square minus x1 to the power of 2. And the next thing we have is u2, which is going to be omega into the square root of a to the power of 2 minus x2 to the power of 2. Next thing you need to do here is to square both sides of the velocity. In this case, we are going to have u we are going to have u2 to the power u1 to the power of 2 which is going to be omega square in this case the square root is going to get rid out of the the square is going to get rid out of the square root here we are going to be left with a square minus x1 to the power of 2 remaining for the second one this is going to be u Two, but this time around we are going to include square root. This is going to be omega into bracket of a square minus x two to the power of two. So next thing we need to do from here is to calculate the difference in the, in in these two velocity. We have u one to the power of two, and we have u two to the power of two. This is simply going to be u one to the power of 2 minus u2 to the power of 2. This is simply going to be, we have omega square in common. This is going to be omega square into bracket of, let's start with the first one. This is going to be a square minus x1 to the power of 2. Close bracket, bracket of omega square into bracket of a square minus x 2 to the power of 2 also plus bracket so what are we supposed to do next if you multiply omega square multiplied by a square let's say u 1 to the power of 2 minus u 2 to the power of 2 this is simply going to be omega square a square if you multiply omega square by x1 to the power of 2, it's going to be minus omega square x1 to the power of 2. And this is simply going to be, next thing is omega square multiplied by x square is the same thing as omega square 
a square omega square multiplied by x to the power of 2 is the same thing as minus omega square x 2 to the power of 2. Next thing we need to do from here is to common the two common factors. In this case, we have omega square a square and we have omega square a square. Here we are going to be left with u1 to the power of 2 minus u2 to the power of 2. This is simply going to be, let's start with the first one, u square multiplied by x2 to the power of 2 minus u square multiplied by x1 to the power of 2. So we still have one common factor between bots, which is um, omega square. In this case, let's find the value of omega square. Here we can say it u1 to the power of 2 minus u2 to the power of 2 divided by x2 to the power of 2 minus x1 to the power of 2 and this will give us omega. But remember, the omega is in square root. This is going to be in square root as well. Let's put it properly. Here we can set omega square. This is simply going to be the square root of u1 to the power of 2 minus u2 to the power of 2 divided by x2 to the power of 2 minus x1 to the power of 2. In this case, we can have, so let's substitute it into our time period, which we say time period, which is what? 2 pi divided by omega. Let's get rid of these places. We say time period, time period, is uh, simply 2 pi divided by omega. In this case, time period is simply going to be 2 pi into what? the square root of x 2 to the power of 2 minus x 1 to the power of 2 divided by x 1 to the power of 2 minus u 2 to the power of 2. And this is it for this problem. Thank you for watching.